The Strait of Gibraltar, known by the ancients as the Pillars of Hercules, is a narrow channel that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. This small maritime channel passes between two major continents, Europe and Africa, with the closest point being only 13 kilometers apart. At this narrow point, standing on one side, you can easily see the other continent. However, no bridge has yet been built to connect these two continents. There have been numerous proposals over the past few decades to build a land route connecting Europe and Africa, as it would significantly impact the economy by enhancing trade, transportation, and tourism, linking the 450 million population of the European Union with 1.5 billion people in Africa. Despite the potential benefits, no bridge has been constructed yet over the Strait of Gibraltar. This is surprising, especially considering the importance of the route. The Strait of Gibraltar is around 57 kilometers long, and at its narrowest point between Spain's Tarifa and Morocco's Point Ceres, it is only about 8 miles, or 13 kilometers wide. The depth of the strait averages around 1,200 feet, 365 meters. Unlike the Suez Canal, which is man-made and connects the Red Sea to the Mediterranean, the Strait of Gibraltar is a natural waterway. The Suez Canal has width limitations for large vessels, but the Strait of Gibraltar accommodates the world's largest cargo ships, which is why over 100,000 ships pass through annually. This is a much higher figure compared to the 20, 20,000 ships passing through the Suez Canal each year, or the 14,000 through the Panama Canal. The reason why a bridge hasn't been built is primarily due to cost. Building a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar is estimated to cost anywhere between $5 billion to $20 billion, making it one of the most expensive construction projects in the world. Such a bridge would need to be designed to allow the world's largest ships to pass underneath, which presents significant engineering challenges. Moreover, the depth of the strait poses a challenge for construction. At some points, the depth exceeds 3,000 feet, deeper than the height of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. Building supporting pillars of such heights underwater is a daunting task for engineers. Additionally, the region's underwater currents, with different directions at the surface and the bottom, add further complexity to the construction. The area also lies on the meeting point of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, making it prone to earthquakes. These seismic activities make it extremely risky to build long-standing structures like bridges or tunnels. For instance, the Lisbon earthquake of 1755 and the Agadir earthquake of 1960 both caused massive devastation in nearby regions. In addition, the ocean floor beneath the Strait of Gibraltar is largely composed of soft clay layers, which are unstable and could easily shift under geological pressure or construction. Geologists have warned that any construction project in this area could face catastrophic failure due to these soft clay channels. Given these challenges, there have been alternative suggestions such as constructing a tunnel beneath the ocean floor, similar to the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. However, this would significantly increase the cost and raise doubts about the feasibility of such a project. Moreover, there are political concerns as well particularly from Spain and the European Union, that building a bridge or tunnel would lead to a large influx of African refugees or illegal immigrants, which would be difficult to manage. These are some of the reasons why, despite the short distance, no bridge has been built across the Strait of Gibraltar.